Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I dyed my hair black. Do you like it? I hope you guys like it. Um, I wanted it to match my eyebrows better because I always have really dark eyebrows, so I went black. A really good friend of mine who I love very much and I will not be naming gave me some very friendly and loving advice and I appreciated it and took it to heart and was like, you know what, I need to do something about that if I'm gonna make a video. So I wanted to do something dramatic. I think I'm having like a midlife crisis, so I went black. And I love it. I really do. Um, my hair feels healthy, believe it or not, after like dyeing it. So cool. Um, let's start off by if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been with me, thank you. And if you don't like me or my videos, please don't fucking watch me. Um, I'm going to do a Valentine's-y type look because that's pretty much what I'm doing until Valentine's Day. And I'm going to use a bunch of palettes and I'll show you guys as I use them. Um, yeah, let's jump in. I'll also, low key, is that not the cutest little towel my husband got me these cute little towels <laughs> i don't know they were just cute and he's so sweet but yeah i go through a lot of towels i'm gonna start off with the Fersalis. i'm gonna use the rose gold elixir quickly because we're already like a minute in and long intros can be Ooh, where are you going i dumped it right outside the actual little thing there all right <laughs> oh yeah all right here we go I used an actual foundation on top of my eyebrows too so that it wouldn't be so white. I love respectful criticism. I love when someone says, hey, I noticed this because maybe we don't see it or, you know, if it bothers someone and they really love you and they just want to tell you, why not? I love honest people. I love honest people. I fuck with honest people. I do not like fucking with people who lie and sugarcoat shit and, you know, just be real, be honest. I mean, if per if a person loves you, they're going to respect you for that. Um, the person who told me, I highly love and respect. And, oh, if my fingers look dirty, it's because I didn't get all the dye out. I tried. I've been scrubbing them all day. But it's just hair dye. It's, it'll come off eventually. I used gloves, but then when I was washing it out in the shower... I noticed it was staining my hands a little bit, so stained my shower too. <laughs> but I just I love honest people. Um, yeah, and I think if they do it in a loving, kind way, you know, absolutely. That's just that's the best kind of friends to have. I am a friend like that. I'm a very honest, blunt friend. Um, Sometimes I hurt people's feelings and I hate that and that's not what I ever want. So I try to be careful what I say, but I still try to be honest and blunt. You know what I mean? Um, we're going to use Painterly by MAC. Prime these eyelids real quick. So yeah, it's Sunday. Um, I'm going to be do so the collab video, I'm going to do mine on Valentine's Day. That way I can get everybody who did it, um, I can get their video... I can shout them out and then get their video added, you know, uh, the link in my description box. So I'm going to do mine on actually actual Valentine's Day. But if you guys could get it done by, you know, the 13th or like super early Valentine's Day, that would be awesome. Um, yeah, we've already had a couple people people do it. So thank you. I hope a few more people will join. That would be awesome. It totally like, you know, makes me happy. This is going to be an all matte look. For once, I'm not going to be using the, um, the, uh, shit, where's my thing? The, um, Stila Glitters. I mean, I could, but I'm not going <laughs> to. thought we'd give those a break and do a matte look today. So. Yes, ma'am. Guess what we're doing. My husband was so sweet, he came home early. Well, he, he was supposed to come back tonight, but he came back last night. He, they just drove straight through. Um, he was like, we're going to stay the night in motel and wake up and come home. We, I'd rather just come home. So that was awesome. They got done early what they were trying to do. So that was a really nice surprise. I was really excited to see him. Yeah, and then we like pretty much laid in bed and watched, watched a new Jigsaw movie last night, which was pretty good. Um, I always wonder who the fuck can sit down and come up with these creepy ideas. You know what I mean? Like, wow. Um, I'm going to go into the Modern Renaissance palette for Burnt Orange. And we're going to start off with that color in our as our transition. Yep, and here we go. Got my little Mia. So, yeah, I, uh, I really like my hair. 
I have really dark brown hair, but obviously it's not black. Um, so I was really happy to kind of dye it and just do something different. I had some blonde when I went and got my hair frosted at the end of my brows and I, or at the end of my brows, at the end of my ends of my hair and I was getting kind of tired of it and I didn't really want to dye my hair. I mean, I didn't really want to frost it again, so I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it. And I was thinking, shit, I need to do something, you know, I need to line it up so that they match good. And I don't know, I just got a wild hair up my ass. And I hung out with my kids all Saturday, went to the mall, did some shopping. And um, I said something to my youngest about dyeing my hair. And he was like, yes, do it. And I was like, let's do it. So he helped me pick out the color and I dyed my hair black. Um, I will show, I mean, I will fix it. I just have it pulled back for the video right now, but. It feels so much healthier. Like, I'm in shock that it feels so much healthier. All right, we're going to get rid of this palette for just a minute. i going to set her over there. Hopefully we don't drop anything. Um, am I going in? Yeah, I think I'm straight going in. Okay, so I'm going to grab this color that I used the other day in a look, but it is a good... Ooh, it's the color I kind of need. So I'm going to use this color, and the name of it is called Vivid. Wait, no, it's not. It's called Snatched. So this color, I love this color so much. So we're gonna try to set this over here. Hopefully she don't fall. Hopefully, we're gonna start with that one. I think this is how I, I kind of practiced this look the other day, but I didn't wear it anywhere. I only did one eye. I think this is how I did it, so. All right, I'm gonna stick Vivid right here. And I'm really going to just darken from the inner to the outer. I want to keep it very matte. I'm not putting any shimmer in my eyes, so I really want it to be a very dark, rounded kind of look. That's what we're going for anyways. I'll blow it out a little bit. Come on. My eyes never want to round for me right here. It's so funny. They're just evil to me. But when I clean them up, I make them the way I want. So we'll just do it like that for now. See, this eye will round for me really easy. See that? It's just this one. Well, it's weird. They take turns. Like some days this one will do good and some days that one. I'm sure you guys hear about me bitch about it in like every video because it drives me freaking crazy. The eye shape I have. Ugh. Not ideal for makeup videos, that's for sure. <laughs> what do we got going on here? Okay. And this is just going to get darker and darker as I get closer to my lash line. So. Alright, and I'm going to take a clean blending brush. I don't use anything on this brush at all. I just use it to kind of blend around edges and stuff. We're going to do that real quick. Make sure they're even, which I don't think they are. Like that. There we go, okay. If you want to create, recreate this look, um, you know, just play with the colors and go back and forth. You may not want to use as many colors. I just like building depth and grainy it, so I do use a lot of shades. I will be cleaning all this up too, so if it starts getting a little cray and messy, don't fear, I'll clean it up. Always do. All right, so next we are going to go into the Modern Renaissance palette, and I'm gonna use um, Love Letter, but very, very little bit, very little, little, just a little to put in my crease. I'm just, like I said, I'm gradually building to the really dark, deep purple I wanna use. So this color, these two colors are almost the same. This one's just a little bit deeper in color, just like a barely any, but just a little. So I'm being real careful not to put too much of this, but just enough. So yeah, if you guys are going to do the collab, um, just come up with a, you know, Valentine's Day look. Shit, just run some pink on your eye and put, you know, put some mascara on call to look. I just love, I guess, seeing and getting to know people and through makeup, I just really enjoy that. So um, I watch a lot of makeup videos. I think that's how we kind of learn. Um, I didn't, you know, I don't, I'm not a professional by any means, but I just, 
And I don't try to copy anybody's looks or anything, but I do get inspiration and I just put my own twist on it. And um, yeah, I just really enjoy makeup. I wish I would have went to school for it, but I went to school to be a bartender. And yeah, they had bartending academy where I lived. And yeah. I did, I did graduate that class like third or second, I can't remember, I think it was second or third. I'm going to say third because I don't want to say it wrong, but um, in my class there, which is not, you know, woohoo, but um, I could make like 43 drinks in like four minutes, it was crazy. It was crazy, crazy. I got a little certificate that said I was a mixologist. I have a recipe thing full of um drinks which is funny because I don't drink but I used to I'm just not a very nice drunk so I might drink for my kid's birthday though um I've been thinking about doing that with him he's uh getting a little excited that he's turning 21 which, you know, if you knew me outside my regular life, I have really good kids that don't fuck with drugs and stuff. I've been really lucky, very open. You know, they've tried stuff, but not into it at all. I love, I love the relationship I have with my kids and how open and honest we keep it, so. Um, okay, what are we doing next? Is that it? Did I have anything else? I think we're just going into the, okay, yeah, I think we're just going into the purples. Is it in here? No. Why did I bring this palette out? Was it just stuck with my other one? So I did get the Jeffree Star palette, but I'm getting... So the first one sold out. I literally had it in my cart. I was typing in my fucking credit card information, and it swiped it out of my cart and said it was gone. I was pretty upset because I had like $140 worth of stuff. So um, I waited. Then Jeffree Star did his tweet about, you know, doing another restock. And so I got in line for that, and it's paid for, and it'll be here in a couple weeks. So I'm super excited. I um, I cried. I called my husband. And he was out of town, and I was legit crying to him on the phone. He was like, "Babe, it's okay." I, you know, and he was at work, you know, where he was at, so he couldn't really sit on the phone with me. And but he tried, and he was so sad for me. I was bawling like a baby. I didn't get the ballot. And he was like, "How? Weren't you?" I mean, I literally stayed up all night so that I wouldn't sleep in. That's that was dedicated. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go into Androgyny um, from the Androgyny palette from Jeffree Star. And we're going to start using that to transfer into the purple. Hopefully this color uh, is darker than the end color I want to use. I didn't check it. I just thought I remembered like, oh, I have a really super dark purple in my um, Urban Decay palette, my Naked Heat. But when I had practiced this on one eye, I had only used these palettes. So the Naked Heat one I just grabbed right before I started this video, just in case, you know, I don't know, just in case. So this is a very dramatic colored eye, but um, I'm totally into it. I love all, that's why I've been doing different looks, because I love the different color. I mean, pinks, purples, reds, red and blacks, red and whites. I love it all, so so fun these are like my shit all right so we're getting there i love how good his um shadows are like low-key they are some of the best i love them they're not patchy they do what they're supposed to they behave there's not a bunch of fallout everywhere and i'm not even tapping my brush off like i should be and i'm not getting a bunch of fallout just on the out parts of my eye but that was my doing so I want to make sure I'm bringing it just as dark on the inside of my inner corner as the outside. Yes, ma'am. Who watches Rich Lux? Leave me a comment in below in the comments. I adore that man. I love him. Like, I think I kind of have a crush on him in a really weird way, even though I know he's gay. Um, I have a crush on a lot of gay guys because they're so fun. Like, they're so awesome. And it's a safe bet, you know. They're not going to mess with you because, you know, they're gay. So you can totally just love them from a, from a distance. <laughs> but I love Rich Lux. I love when he goes into Miss Fucking Wonderful's chats, too. He's so fun. Such a fun person. Um, yeah. 
just like, just a good good person. And I know he makes drama videos and he kind of does this cutesy little thing, but he's he's a good person and he always, you know, lets everybody know that he this is just for fun. He's just having fun, kind of saying things that we would think, you know, but wouldn't say. He kind of says it for us. So, all right, why does this eye always look more blended and better? Like, I always have one eye that's just like, yes, I'm here for you, honey. And the other eye's like, nope, bitch, not today. No. We're going to play you hard. All right. Quit playing me hard here. Okay. We're going to be good with that. I always have a habit of blowing on my palettes. I, don't ask me why. I don't know. Um, let me look at this color. Yeah, see, I think this one's going to be the darkest. So, we're going to go back into this palette. The name of the shade is Forever. And it looks different than it is this color is incredible so we're gonna use that one um and i'm pretty much gonna just use the same brush so i'm just kind of wiping it you don't really have to wipe it because it's all gonna blend but pick up a bunch i just did that right over my fucking brushes yes yes i did all right so this like i said i'm just gradually working my way down so this color is just a little bit darker in the androgyny color that we used so and these morphe shadows i'm so impressed with how they they really uh they really improved quality i already liked morphe before but um i think messing with jacqueline Hill, i think anytime a company brings an influencer in to do a collab with them i think that collab because especially if it's a beauty influencer or a YouTuber, you know, they go in there and kind of tell them what's up and what they need to be doing better. And I swear to God, every time a company works with a beauty influencer, the especially the eyeshadow, it just improves. Like the quality of their in, their eyeshadows always improve. I love that. I love that the beauty influencers go in there and let them know, like, no, you need to do better. I love that. So I'm just covering my whole lid with this shade. And like I said, I'm going to take that ashes color at the end and just kind of go over the lower. But I'm kind of blending this up a little high. So what do we got? Woo! Yes, ma'am. We are dramatic. Dramatic today. I'm in such a good fucking mood. I, I am so happy my babe came home. I missed him like one day. He was gone for what, a couple hours and I was really missing him. Especially after the Jeffree Star thing, like I'm, I don't get emotional and I got emotional because I had been literally just tweeting about how excited I was to get it and I was on there. I had it in my car. It like went live two minutes early. Like two, like it went, what time did it go live? 9.58, which it might just be because my time's a little off, you know, but it went live and it was gone in three minutes. Like what the fuck? And I had a bunch of shit in my cart and... Oh, I was, yeah, but it'll be here. I'm getting it. I'm super excited. So I'm going to go into Ashes from the Naked Heat palette, which is this super dark purple color, and I'm just going to go over pretty much everything up to my crease. Oh, yeah, see, I can see it. I don't know if you guys will, but it is so much darker than I just laid down. That's crazy. Okay. I love these dark purples. They're so good for outer corner work. Um, you know, with oranges, reds, pretty much anything, you can use these darker pr plummy purple colors. All right, let's make sure we're good. Yes, yes. This inner corner is just being a dick to me today. So, you know, struggle is real. And I want to make sure I pack on enough because that's all I'm putting on my eyes. I'm not doing any... Um, shimmer. I wanted to do a glitter liner, but I think I'm going to do that on a different look and just keep this all matte because not everybody's into shimmer. So, yeah. I need to blend out these outer corners a little bit and we're going to be good to go. I'm good because that took us 15 fucking minutes or 19 minutes because I got 10 minutes left on my little timer. Okay, so I'm going to take this. I always wipe off my brush. This is, is mostly habit, but um, I'm going to go back into the first, not transition color, but the, um, snatched color, this one, oops, this one right here, I don't even know if I showed you guys that, hopefully you saw it, 
I'm gonna go into that and just go, oh, I used it on this brush and I never put anything on this brush. Sarah, fucking pay attention. Okay, let me clean the show this because I only use this for blending. I don't put any color on that one. Um, let me go back into the brush I was using. Calm down. Okay, I'm going back into Snatched and we are going to just go around the edges of that purple to yes and bring it up just a little bit so it matches and meets up with the other color we had the orange so this is this is very dramatic look it's not for everybody um i'm in love with it i love dramatic looks so i am here for it honey I'm so sad. My best friend that died, we were so excited when our kids were going to turn 21. <laughs> like, we were like, we're going to take him to the bar, blah, blah, blah. And I'm, I'm missing him a lot right now. Just wanting him to be here with my oldest son, Dylan. So I'm going to go into Love Letter. <gasps> Ooh, and I'm going to keep that right on the purple, right, right on the purple. I'm not going to push it out as much as I did that last color. I just want to make sure we keep all our depth and all our gradient. And blend it just enough. Just enough. I did a live stream the other day. And thank you to everyone that came in and made that such a fun live stream. Like, thank you. That was, I had so much fun that I definitely want to do a live stream again. So, um, I'm, I'm into it. Um, but thank you for everybody that came. Why can I not find the... See, I put everything in a smaller container thinking... Oh, there she is. Okay, she's hiding. I'm going to go into that transition color that we first started with, which is burnt orange. And I'm just going to go around the top up here. So I pretty much brought that um, snatched color up so high that you don't really see the orange anymore. But my eye knows it's there. and I can barely see it peeking through, but it does help. Um, it does help. Okay. So this eye definitely needs a little... We're going to take... Just a touch of love letter. It's good to do that so you can see what's needing to be blended better. Come on, love letter. Come through. This Anastasia palette is literally like, like legit. It's for Valentine's Day. Okay, I'm going to dab into that snatched color real quick and fix this because I'm seeing a little bit of unevenness with my eyes. So... Let me just make sure. Dang, that's dramatic. <laughs> yes, okay. And we'll clean all of it up, so don't worry. I'm going to clean it all up. Okay, burnt orange. Now I'm going to use that to kind of blend out. And I didn't put my um, underbrow highlight on because I'm going to use that to clean up everything at the end, so. All right. Woo! <laughs> there she is. Let's get on some lashes. I feel good about it. I don't think anything's patchy. I think for the most part we did what we were set out to do, which is always nice when that works out. Okay, so let's get eyeliner done real quick. Um, I'm still using the Bad Gal Lash, um, or Bad Gal Bang, I know. But it's so good. Jeffree Star just did a video today about the Benefit Roller Lash, comparing it to the new Benefit Bad Gal Lash. And uh, I, I totally agree with him. He said one was thicker and one was more blown out, but you could you could make it. That This mascara is so good. You can make it do anything you want. All right, I'm going to use the Ciate Fierce Flix liquid eyeliner real quick, and we're going to do a quick little... Uh, yeah, we're going to do a quick little line here. Such a good mascara. I totally... Ooh, and I got the Ciate Chloe Morella... Um, palette. This I think it's her second one. The other one was more purple, but I got that this weekend. I also got another palette I'll show you guys. The Violet Voss Rainbow Palette. I did take back that white peach palette. I took it back. It killed me. I really wanted to keep it just for collector purposes, just so it was with its sister palette, and I couldn't. It did, The quality was so bad. I just couldn't. It had one shimmer that was ch chunky and hard to work with. It had the mattes were a joke. Um, I'm sorry, Too Faced. If you ever, ever see this video, which I know you won't, 
I know I'd be 100 on it. Uh, don't waste your money on that palette. If you love it, awesome. No tea, no shade. I think I'm not even talking shit to you about it. But for me, it was a waste of money. So I took it back and got this Yate palette and then this Violet Voss Rainbow palette. So I'm happy that I did that. All right, I'm going to probably do my lashes offline. Um, offline or off camera. But I'm going to use the Girl Boss ones that I tried to, to use in my live video. And I lost one of them. And my, and my uh, husband came in and found it for me. So they look like that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just, maybe I'll be able to put them on. Hold on. Let me get the, let me get the glue on here real quick and see. I've got like four minutes till my camera stops recording. So there's that. Um, let me, let me, we'll see if we can get it done. If not, that's okay. Um, where's my lash glue? I did get a new dual lash glue, so we are happy, happy. I actually remembered for once. Thank you, God. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put this glue on here and hopefully we don't lose this lash again because I was having a heart attack. Um, I need to get another pair of these lashes because the other ones I have, I need to clean and I'm lazy and yeah, so all that stuff. All right, we're just going to throw a quick little coat on here. Get these, this glue drying at least so we can get it tacky. Doing your lashes, you have to be patient for the glue. When you're doing YouTube videos and you don't edit, such as myself, that's hard to do because you're on a time frame and I'm always right down to my last few minutes when I'm getting ready to do my lashes. But when you're at home and you're practicing your lashes, just sit, you know, I give, if I can, I would give it a minute. You know, not more than that though because then it will be hard to mess with them. But you just want to get it tacky. And it's trial and error. So, you know, you're going to try a few times and the glue is not going to be where you want. And, you know, just try it a few seconds more every time until you find your magic number. You know what I mean? And it, and it does depend on how much glue you lay down. I put a lot on. So I think that's why 30 seconds don't work for me. Please don't stick to my finger. Thank you. But, um, you know, 30 seconds is, is usually just about perfect. So we are going to use the bad gal bang lash i lost my mirror where's she at here we go i'm just gonna do a quick little coat um and my hands are really shaky today so i don't know if you guys have clocked me for that yet but they're pretty shaky right now um this happened all day so let's do a quick little you don't even need falsies um, I did want to do a look with just this mascara and not use falsies, and I don't know if I'm going to get it done in time, but if I don't, I will get it done um, after Valentine's Day. So, because I think you can use these colors whenever you want. I don't think these are just for Valentine's Day, but they're more socially acceptable, I guess, around this time. I would wear these colors any time of the year. Uh, I'm not going to lie, but I know with YouTube, you know, whatever, so... I think there should be no rules to make up in any way. You like something and it works for you, do it. If it don't work for somebody else, don't knock them for expressing that. Um, just respect it, you know? If something works for you and it doesn't for somebody else, respect that. It's all about respect. I, oops, sorry guys if I banged you. Why can't I get you to fit back in there? Nope, okay. I'm going to tight line real quick with the Ciate Wonder Wand. I was going to use the Ciate mascara and I forgot. So, oh, oh and I did get a little, we got to clean up this eyes anyway, so ignore that. Okay, let's see if we can get these lashes on real quick. I got about a minute left, so say a little prayer for me. I'll probably need it. Oh, I've got 50 seconds left, so let me do one lash, and then I'll probably end the video and finish it. And I'll have to do a part two. Um, Miss Fucking Wonderful did tell me that I can definitely use my Samson Note 8 to record on, so I will be doing videos like that. All right, head over to part two if you want to see how I finish my look. I love you guys more than you'll ever know, and I'll see you over there. Peace.